and welcome to chapter two of this tutorial on War 2007. In this module, we want to start out with the simple task, the very simple task of simply opening a new document and starting to work with a document. Of course, as we've begun this tutorial, I've already opened up a document and started to build a document now. Now it's time to make a new one. And there's a couple ways which we can do this. One is that we can use the quick access toolbar here, and we can also use the keyboard shortcut of Control and N. And you can see that in the screen tip if you hover over the quick access toolbar. Again, if you don't see that new button in the quick access toolbar, make sure that you customize the quick access toolbar. Just go to the drop down arrow just to the right and make sure that new is toggled on with a checkbox. So that's one way you can just start with a blank document here and that's something that's built off of a template and you'll see later on why the words start typing are in the document that we make. The other way to do that is to use the office button. And this is actually my preferred method because you get more options here. This opens up the new document dialog box. And so this is what that looks like. And one of the reasons why I like the new document dialog box here is that you have the option to create a document based on one of many templates. You notice that in this template section in the upper left hand side here you have four sections here, blank and recent, install templates, my templates, and new from existing. Or you have, if you're connected to Office Online, you can pick from feature templates, agendas, brochures, faxes, flyers, forms, gift certificates, greeting cards, inventories, and so on and so on, all the way down the list. So the recommendation, of course, is that you connect to the internet before you start using Word, but of course that's not always going to be possible. But you should still be able to get access to several templates, even if you're not connected to Office Online. This Office Online just gives you a good starting point. So blank and recent, some of the ones that we've used recently. Install templates, these are some of the ones that install by default. And what's nice here is if you're going to launch a document based on an equity report, for example, a lot of times you're able to see exactly in the preview section here, in the preview pane, you're able to see exactly what that document will look like before you decide to create it. And you create it with just a single click here. My templates opens up a new dialog box with the option of double clicking or selecting any templates that you have installed and later on we'll look at how to install templates in, in future modules and you'll look at why you see a couple of different things here you probably won't see thank you for renewing your membership or 2007 calendar room for notes but those are templates that I've installed already and again you'll be able to see how to do that later on if I click on cancel out of that notice it brings me right back to the new document dialog box my templates again you saw that and then new from existing and that means you can go out and pick an existing document and create a new document using the existing document as a template so you don't have to have a template already set up if you know that you know what this new document that I'm creating is going to look it's going to use the same look and feel as something that I've just created maybe with a different uh, couple of modifications or if I'm starting a new chapter on a book for example and I've got lots of headings and sections and placeholders and all that stuff you can just create a carbon copy essentially of that document and then just change your of course change the body of the document but just change your headings and so on so once you made your selection here I'll click on install templates to show you just give you a preview of what the power of the template can be and what I'll select here is the equity report by the way another template that you have is a new blog post and again I'll spend another module later on in this tutorial talking about how to create a new blog post from within Word it's very very simple to do so let's click on equity report let's click on create and now I've got the document created here and from there it's pretty self-explanatory for example to select the document title there's a little section here placeholder says type the document here and this is very common in templates all you do is click and yeah I spelled it right no nope, except I spelled net title what I wanted to spell is new title so all you do again is click and type and that's how you can use some of these things pick the date this is a field and we'll show you how to insert fields later on and then authored by and this again is a field that has been pre-populated the way that that is grabbed is if you go to your word options by the way if you go to the office button and then click on word options you will see in the popular section here of your word options the username so whatever the username is whatever it's currently configured for in your word options dialog box here it will grab and populate any authored by field that happens to be in a template from there it's just a matter of clicking and typing so this entire section here you notice that as I hover the mouse it turns gray or it has a gray background that means once I make my click and then I start to type it replaces the entire contents of whatever is the gray shading 
So that's how you use templates. That's how you can get going creating a new document.